As Disney announced this week, the filming of the new Ahsoka series has officially started. You can see a photo of the director's chair, which, given the typical cowboy hat, most certainly belongs to director Dave Filoni. It can be assumed that Filoni, who is very popular among fans, will direct one or even several episodes of the series, although details about this are not yet known. The fact that the 47-year-old was chosen to direct Ahsoka is no mere coincidence. After all, he was also in charge of the first Clone Wars film. In it, Ahsoka also made her first appearance as a Jedi apprentice to Anakin Skywalker. Since then, Filoni and his character have been inseparable. For this reason, we think it is likely that Filoni will not direct just any episode. He will probably direct the pilot episode right away. This way, as the creator of the character, he can set the overall direction of the series. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse director Peter Ramsey will also be responsible for at least one episode. The plot of the series is not known yet, but we can and certainly expect appearances by Rosaria Dawson as Ahsoka Tano, Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker, and Natasha Liu Bordizo as Sabin Wren. We will also get to see Ivana Sakno, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and Ray Stevenson in as yet unknown roles. A release date has not been provided so far. It's been known for a long time that The Boys enjoys convincing viewers with quirky humor and brutal violence. Now, in view of the imminent start of the third season, there is a new image that shows two characters in an unusual way. Seen are the two characters Kimiko Miyashiro, aka The Female in Search, aka Franchi, played by Karen Fukuhara, and Tomer Capone. This is indeed not a scene from Mamma Mia, but a very special episode of the new season. This one is supposed to be designed similar to musical, as you can easily tell from the picture and the dancing extras in the background. In addition, the Twitter account of Den of Geek presented its new cover on which you can see Jensen Ackles as Soldier Boy in the foreground. The streaming release of Season 3 is scheduled for June 3rd, 2022 on Amazon Prime. There is further news about the still untitled The Boys spin-off. There has been a lot of activity among the cast in recent weeks as the project has lost a number of leading actors. A key factor there is the fact that those responsible have rewritten many of the characters again. These now no longer fit the originally committed actors. One of them is Raina Hardesty, who is now substituted by London Thor. Apart from that, many newcomers were cast, including Derek Liu, Shelley Kahn, and Asa German. Also joining the cast are three leading men, Arnold Schwarzenegger's son Patrick Schwarzenegger as Golden Boy, Sean Patrick Thomas as Dr. Cadosa, and Marco Pegasi as Polarity. There's no release date for the boys' spin-off yet, but we will, of course, keep you posted. For several months, there has been speculation that Loki Season 2 will be filmed this summer. The first season played an important role in shaping the MCU, and therefore fans are now eagerly awaiting the impact that the open multiverse will have on the further plot in the series. Via the ProductionList.com website, it has now been possible to pinpoint the concrete kickoff date for the shooting, and that is on June 6, 2022. Besides that, there will be some changes behind the camera. First, screenwriter Michael Waldron has taken the place of his colleague Eric Martin. Second, there is also a substitute for director Kate Herron, namely the two Moon Knight directors Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead. As for the cast, officially returning are Tom Hiddleston as Loki, Gugum Bathara as Ravana Renslayer, and Owen Wilson as Mobius and Mobius. More actors are expected to be added to the cast in the coming weeks. Sadly, there is no release date for Loki Season 2 yet, but a release during the coming year is deemed likely. In just a few weeks, Thor Love and Thunder will finally hit theaters. Those responsible are thus in the midst of their marketing campaign and have some interesting news to share. This is also the case with director Taika Waititi, who was recently available for an interview with Empire Magazine. According to him, Mighty Thor, played by Natalie Portman, was only included in the process of writing the screenplay because the return of Jane to the story was found to be extremely fitting. And in the plot, about eight years had passed since Thor and Mighty Thor last met. Hence, the sudden reunion between the former couple is a downright mindfuck for Thor. And keeping with this, there was also a new image to be admired showing the two main characters in their superhero costumes. Mighty Thor is holding the hammer Mjolnir, which means she has proven herself worthy. Thor himself resorts to the powerful Stormbreaker, though it is not featured here. Just the sight of Mighty Thor is something special, because until now, she was only spotted wearing a helmet at the end of the recently released trailer. We are excited for more news and look forward to the theatrical release on July 8th, 2022. 
When Netflix released the drama series Cobra Kai on the streaming service in 2018, surely nobody expected it to have such a staying power. Fans can soon look forward to the fifth season as Netflix has released a brand new trailer. The plot is set to resume smoothly into season 5, directly following the end of the fourth season. There's plenty of potential for thrilling storylines, with events such as Daniel LaRusso and Chosen Taguchi teaming up against Silver. The latter is trying to expand the Cobra Kai dojo in the absence of John Kreese. In addition, there are Johnny Lawrence and Robbie Keane, who both want to track down the missing Miguel Diaz. A large part of the plot is to be based in Mexico. Fortunately, the trailer also revealed the official release date for the fifth season of Cobra Kai, which is September 9th, 2022. In the recent past, Netflix has made headlines for one thing in particular – the massive drop in its stocks. Now the company announced a new subscription model that they themselves had considered out of the question for years. It's an option where you pay on a somewhat lower price but have to watch advertisements in return. The launch of this model is expected to happen very fast. For instance, the company decided to forego test markets in order to be able to offer the new subscription plan within the next six months. They hope to win back some lost subscribers as many canceled their subscriptions due to the constant price increases and the lackluster content. Even though many reacted rather mockingly to the announcement, this could be a real opportunity for the streaming service to win back former customers. Other providers are more than capable of competing and Disney Plus in particular is one of the strongest contenders with its constantly surpassed forecasts. This may be due to the consistently high-quality catalog of new movies and series, along with the more affordable pricing. Unfortunately, it is not known yet what the cost of the new Netflix model will be. We are still waiting for an official statement in this regard. What's your opinion on Netflix's new subscription model? Can you picture yourself watching ads for less money or as a former subscriber? Can you even imagine signing up for a subscription again? Feel free to let us know in the comments! With Scream, Paramount achieved success with fans and critics at the beginning of the year. Shortly thereafter, work began on a sequel, which will be the sixth film in the Scream franchise. We recently got news about the cast of Scream 6, and let me tell you, it packs a punch. The cast includes Melissa Barrera, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Mason Gooding, and Jenna Ortega. In addition, The Hollywood Reporter announced the signing of Hayden Panettiere, who already appeared in Scream 4 from 2011. There, she played the character Kirby Reed, who had an important role in the story. How exactly Kirby will then be included in the plot of the new movie is still unclear. We know at least that Woodsboro will no longer play a significant part in the upcoming Scream 6, since the four survivors of the predecessor are long gone. Filming starts this summer, again under the direction of Matt Bettinelli Open and Tyler Gillett, while the script is once again the work of James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick. On March 31, 2023, this still untitled Scream 6 is set to have its premiere in theaters. Well, those were the latest news for this week, but hold on, there is more. With our new original video for Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, you will be up to date on this superhero sequel. And of course, you shouldn't miss the first trailer for Avatar 2 The Way of Water. We hope you enjoy it.